Hello, people. Um, I was watching this guy here. He's talking about. Let me show you this part here quick before I get there. Um, here he's talking about that. Uh, it's called. I think it's called the Dark Side of the Oz, where they put the Dark Side of the Moon music to the movie The Wizard of Oz. So here, let me just show you this real quick. And then I showed them Pink Floyd matched up with Wizard of Oz. Now back then, you know, you had to literally have the frickin' VHS or whatever of Wizard of Oz and you had to have a separate CD player to play the two things and you had to match them up yourself. It's not like you can go on YouTube, you just type in WIZ and the rest pops up now and you could watch it matched up. But that stuff matches up and it's one of the great anomalies, one of the great mysteries to me up there with D.B. Cooper and everything is how the hell does that stuff match up? It matches up lyrically, it matches up video wise, you've done that right? I saw it Okay, so now this is what people say and stuff. And so like I, I put it on once and I started watching it, you know, like this is this is part of it and stuff. Now here's the mechanized like type of music, industrial, futuristic, it's Okay, so when I saw this, when I started watching this stuff, to me instantly, it's like this music does not go with the era and the location of like what this movie of The Wizard of Oz. To me, it like didn't go with it at all. So I was like, and people are out there saying, oh, it's one of the great anomalies, like that guy. Oh, it's one of the, and this is like one of these weird things about in the world. It's like how people see things differently. And it's like, I don't know why those pe people like this. Okay, I haven't watched this whole Wizard of Oz, the, the Dark Side of Oz. I haven't seen the whole thing and stuff. But I know it's big. I know a lot of people out there think it's super cool and shit, right? But so, I'm good at linking up, like, movies to music and stuff. I got pretty good uh, knowledge of mo movie history and stuff. And I got a pretty good no knowledge of music history and stuff, too. So, when I saw this, when I heard, think, when I'm just thinking of the music, and I'm thinking of a classic movie like this that... Uh, can link up to it. So the movie that I picked that I thought was much more appropriate is this movie. It's called Metropolis. It's 1927. This would be a silent film era, which I thought was more appropriate than having a talkie like The Wizard of Oz. I thought the silent film era was much more appropriate if you wanted to create a soundtrack to lay over, to like overdub. And as, as a silent film, I thought was much more appropriate. And then this Metropolis movie, it's it's in 1927, but it's a futuristic, and then it's like demonic. It gets really weird, the Metropolis movie, right? So I was like, when I heard the movie, the movie that I thought of is like Metropolis, right? So now I've got this already, like I'm 14 minutes into it here, and then, so I'm gonna show you here with the music too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play here uh, The Great Gig in the Sky. Yeah, The Great Gig in the Sky, and I'm gonna play Money. now. I'm not good at editing. There's the thing, like, I can't do this whole video. First of all, like, I'm just filming with my camera, so they would run out of battery before I could film the whole thing and stuff. So I couldn't edit this. I can't, I, I'm not capable of doing this video, making it proper, right? So I've, I've run it up to, together. At first I was running, I was watching it, and then um, I like this part of these two songs and stuff. Well, it, it, it links up really good, but it's slower in the beginning and stuff, and, you know, and so it's like, well, let me get it to the part where it, it looks a little better, a little more exciting. So I brought it up to you, I was watching it, but now I tried to, I, I was watching it, and this these couple songs part was really cool. I like when it got to this part, but now I rewound it, and I was like, I don't know if I got it to properly timed and stuff, right? But so we'll go ahead and just play it here. I should have it pretty close. When I'm, when I'm saying it's pretty close, this should be pretty close to the real way of from the beginning of the album and the beginning of the movie. They should be linked up pretty good up until this part, okay? So that's what I'm trying. I tried to link it up. It's not like I just picked a part of the music and picked a part of the movie and put them together. No, it's like I tried to follow the pattern of what we're doing. Play this music, play the album from the beginning and play the movie from the beginning, right? And so we got up into this point. I could have it a little off and stuff, but like I said, I tried to do it. Like I said, I'm not really good at it. But like I said, I've watched this stuff and I was up to this point i was like 25 30 minutes into it and it was freaking killer <laughs> it's so much better and stuff right so i'm gonna hear i'm gonna play you a couple songs like i said i don't know if i get copyright stuff like all that stuff what i gotta worry about right so here i'm just gonna go ahead and let's play a couple songs just so you can see the difference compared to like this movie compared to wizard of oz the wizard of oz movie does not fit the music metropolis fits the music okay so here we go
Okay, that's enough. Just to give you an idea, it matches up good. It's much better, <clears throat> much better than the the Wizard of Oz one. I would think that the Wizard of Oz type of thing is a. Uh, it's more like uh, the mind chooses to mind hears and sees what it chooses to hear and see. So I think that the people they're like they're like oh Wizard of Oz, you know, it's so great, you know, and Pink Floyd. Uh, uh, the dark side of the moon, you know, oh, it's God, so great, so big, and they put them together, and the people put the effort into watching it, you know, and then then they come out, and they got to say, well, I watched it, so they make themselves, what it is, is they feel special just because they watched it, okay, and then they can say, oh, it's Pink Floyd, and it's the Wizard of Oz, and I watched it, I'm special, this is how people are, so this is how people give the reaction of how they keep saying, oh, it's so good, it's so good, oh, it's one of those great anomalies, like the guy was saying, and it's like, dude, it fucking sucks. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. It doesn't go together. The music doesn't match with the era of the movie that it's set in. The time, it doesn't fucking, it doesn't fit The Wizard of Oz whatsoever. So it's like, now, I've played it up at this point, like right here, or I, mean, I switched it over. But yeah, I was like almost 30 minutes into the movie. It was 25 minutes, something like that. And it was, it was perfectly, fitting along with it perfectly. It's like, like I said, though, I'm not a good editor. I don't know if I could, I couldn't. Get it? I wouldn't be able to do the whole thing by myself and shit, right? But I would assume that if you linked up these two movies, or if you linked up Metropolis movie to the record of The Dark Side of the Moon, I would think that you would have a much better product than what was produced with The Wizard of Oz and The Dark Side of the Moon, okay? So, talk to you later. Bye.